Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Welcome back if you are not new. Today we have a get ready with me and I want to show you guys the makeup look that I've been doing every day. It takes me less than 10 minutes, but it takes a while here because I'm, I'm talking to you guys. So I just wanted to show you what I've been loving and also some of the products in action that I featured in my Sephora haul, which was my last video. Before we get started, I do want to thank Dossier for sponsoring a portion of today's video. Dossier is a perfume company based in France and they do have designer dupe perfumes which are incredible and they smell almost identical to the original scent. So here I have Amber Cherry, Amber Cherry, and this is similar to Tom Ford's Cherry. I recently smelled this in Neiman Marcus because I was doing a campaign with them and I absolutely love Loved it so much i thought it smelled really similar and i think that the dossier perfumes are not super super long lasting but i still feel like it lasts and just enough for dinner time so that's like pretty good for me for me it smells like fruity but like also musky and i love like a combination of the two so the top notes are cherry almond cinnamon and then middle notes cloves rose jasmine plum and then base notes peru balsam tonkin bean and vanilla i love vanilla in my perfumes as well this just smells like so good like this is probably one of my this is my second bottle by the way because i know it kind of looks full but it's my second one so i've been loving this one and then also their baccarat dupe which is also my favorite i use that like all over my house so that's like just such a delicious one highly recommend they have a black friday sale going on right now started a little early so if you guys want to get your hands on any of them i will have the link down below so you guys can check it out and i will also list like their deals so get your hands on some these are amazing they have a money back guarantee you can send it back if you guys don't love the scent and then you can switch it for something else or just get a refund so let's go ahead and get on to the get ready with me portion of the video I'm going to moisturize my hands just a little bit because they've been super dry lately and I do not want to have like ashy hands I'm going to clip my hair back um, I think I'm going to grow out my bangs I'm kind of like tired of them and I don't think I'm not even sure if like curtain bangs like looks good on me I feel like it really ages me so we're going to do some changes to the hair very soon in the future but I wanted to answer some questions I have some products that I wanted to use with you guys i'm first going to apply this lip sleeping mask this is from cos rx so it has like a little spatula in it and i just take some of the product it's like super moisturizing which feels really nice okay so someone said how do you stay motivated to study work and keep a social life um honestly i don't think that i have a social life i don't really have a lot of friends and the friends that i do have they're kind of like out of town pretty often i have like one friend in culver city uh, like two in downtown, but they're always very busy. My bestie, she's like always on the move. And then, you guys see Luna? <laughs> and then one of my really good friends, she lives like in, by our old uni. So that's like really far. And yeah, I feel like I have a pretty good amount of friends that I'm really happy with. But like, I would rather just have them and keep them close then have like a bunch of friends that like i can't really like keep track of and then like everyone's fake to each other i would rather like not have relationships like that so i'm going to apply this say highlighter it's like a facial highlighter i purchased this during the sale i just like to apply a little bit i already have kind of a glow but i don't know what that's from i think it's just from like my skin so i'm just going to apply this it doesn't feel like it feels like kind of tacky but it doesn't feel like drying on the face which i like i don't really have like too many friends i have friends in long beach um but i think a lot of people are just going through like loss and grief and it's very hard to try and support people when they're in that state because uh, well i guess everybody's different but for me i did not want to have contact with anybody when my grandma passed and still to this day it kind of like hits me out of nowhere and it's very very sad but it's just something that i think you grow to learn to live with and you just kind of like reminisce on memories and it's like obviously not the most fun thing to think about but i think when i think about the happy times i am genuinely very happy someone said what's your next bag purchase slash wish list okay so i got this question a lot and i actually what am i doing right now i'm so confused so I've been doing a different combo while I'm home because I usually don't leave my house like on towards like the weekend. I know that sounds really weird, but like because I have school and like I have my exams and a lot of projects do on the weekend, like the due date is on the weekend and Lord knows I'm a procrastinator. I just do, I use makeup that I normally wouldn't use or that I haven't been using. So this is like a rare beauty concealer. 
So I'm just going to apply this on my under eyes. And then I like to take my CoverGirl True Blend and I'm going to put this underneath. And it's a pretty light concealer. So I think it really helps to like brighten the area. And I'm also gonna use a little bit of the Charlotte Tilbury just because I need it to be a little bit lighter because it's kind of like not as bright as I want it to be. And then I'm gonna go ahead and spritz this. So my next bag purchase, I am, I, okay, I don't know like what I'm gonna buy next, obviously. A few bags I had on my radar was the Celine Ava, but in black. You guys know I have it in white. So in black, I just really love it. And um, it's just a bag that I really reach for often. And if I don't get that in black, I would want something very similar in black, like a shoulder bag, because I don't have like a black shoulder bag. All of mine are like medium sized and I would love something smaller just for running errands or just for like a quick like going out for drinks with my girlfriends kind of bag that's like something that i think is ideal so uh i'm really interested in that and i feel like my friend has like the sac de jour but like the nano version and i do think that this, that that bag is cute but i still feel like it's a small size it's not like a mini bag and i think the eva is just so cute for that and i wanted the small one i think celine actually just had a price increase <laughs> so I wasn't too, I was like, whoa, that took me out of nowhere. And I actually saw it like two days after the price increase happened. So that kind of sucked. I didn't really have a chance to like grab anything before that happened, but I'm glad I did get the things that I got. I do feel like I regret the sandals because I don't wear them as often as I thought I would. And it's just something that I feel is more like summer. So I'm just hoping that I get the use out of them like next year and I'll wear them like all throughout like spring and summer because I did get them pretty late. I got them in September. So it wasn't like obviously ideal, like the weather was changing really quickly and wasn't a lot of activity going on. Someone said, why did you go MIA on Instagram? I don't think that I did it on purpose. I'm using the Merit bronzer. I don't, I didn't do it on purpose. I think the thing is like, I wasn't, my aunt wasn't visiting me as often as she was before. So then I didn't really have anyone to take my photos. And then when I would go hang out with my friends, like I just feel like I didn't like make an effort to get dressed or I was like coming back from studying and we would just meet up really quickly for lunch. So it wasn't like I really had time to get ready and like look cute and like wear things that I would want to wear for my Instagram photos. So that kind of sucked, but I definitely want to get back into it. I think it's just the lack of like not having anyone to take your photos, obviously. It's not that I did it on purpose. Like, sure, I can, you know, use my tripod and, like, walk around downtown. But, like, I don't think my anxiety would allow me to do that. And then, um, so that's why I always put, that's why I put on my dating profile that, like, the guy has to be open to taking photos of me because I just, like, need photos. Like, I need photos. And, like, the thing is, guys will say, like, like, I don't know. I feel like guys always make fun of girls taking photos, but then, like, the photos that they use on their dating apps are, like, them from like dates with their exes or like i don't it's just like or like photos from like college and stuff it's like just swallow your pride and get new photos and like have your friends take pictures of you be that person that's like let's take a photo like and have those memories like guys are so weird and like they just give me the ick like everything they do literally okay for my blush i'm gonna use this merit blush and it is so pretty although this color i don't think really goes well with my skin but i just use it anyway so i also have a goyard bag i have a few goyard on my wish list actually i think that's probably what i would purchase next like either the saint louis tote because i don't have like a nice tote bag that i love i love my longchamp and i like that it has a zipper closure but i just feel like i want something that's a little bit more like that screams designer from like one of the bigger fashion houses i think longchamp is like a contemporary brand so i would love something from a bigger brand and i genuinely i really don't like any of the totes that i'm seeing right now i think the gm is great the on the go gm i like it like but i think the giant monogram is like kind of like throwing me off a little bit louis vuitton just has nothing that i'm really eyeing like at the moment like anything of the actually the petite what is it called the pochette matisse but like in the rectangular version, that's cute. I actually really like, and I was really surprised. It's not something that I would purchase, but I think it's cute. And I think it's like a, it's a really, really cute bag. So for that, I do like it, but there are no really, no brands that I'm really in like eyeing except for Goyard. And I really love their mini Saigon. So they came out with the, oh my God. They came out with a pink line 
Okay, I will leave some pictures here of the mini Anju, which is the only bag that I feel like is at the top of my wish list next to the St. Louis. It would be more ideal for me to get the St. Louis tote because like, duh, but the mini Anju in pink and it's limited edition, that doesn't help my anxiety at all. Like it doesn't make me like more calm to like get it. It makes me feel like I need to go buy it tomorrow. Like that's how I feel. Sorry, I just had to put my hair back. That is making me really anxious because I don't know. I think I need to, I am gonna wear my headband because this is not comfortable for me. Anyway, being that it's limited edition, it doesn't help my anxiety because I feel really anxious. I literally feel like I need to go pick it up tomorrow or like soon, like very, very soon because I just feel like one day I'm gonna wake up and it's not gonna be there anymore and I'm going to want to literally die because I don't have it. It's something I saw that they came out with that in like the St. Louis a long time ago. I want to say like 2011 or like early like 2010s. I want, I just want it. Like I just want, like I, I need it. Yeah, that's like, that's like the number one. If you guys ask me like, Jenny, what's on, on the top of your list? I think that's it. I think that's the number one. That and the St. Louis like just in black, I think. I would like i don't think i want it in like black and brown because black and brown i think is the black their standard colors or is that considered a special color because it's all black i don't know to be honest but i'm just gonna set my under eyes with this this is the laura mercier powder i think that bag is like probably number one on my on the top of my list for my bronzer i've just been using this little morphe one i think morphe is like not a thing anymore i just use it i have a fenty one as well and i was looking for like a powder bronzer but honestly i don't even care about buying makeup but like i i bought way too much stuff so i'm just gonna use what i have and i like this one i usually i also usually contour my nose with the with the merit bronzer but i'm gonna use my kevin aquan palette today because the contour shade in here is like unmatched i just do it like on the sides so yeah i think that bag is like Number one on my list, like nothing else can beat it. It's just like, like I drool over the bag. Like I'm gonna make a manifesting board tonight and I'm gonna put that bag on there because like I just, like for Christmas, like I have to have it. Like I just don't know in what situation I will leave this year not having it. Like, <laughs> I don't know. I just, don't, I just don't see that in my future. Like I don't know. Someone said things that help to build your confidence. Definitely. Uh, changing your face I would say okay and I, I mean that like do things that make you happy if getting lip filler if getting your crow's feet filled in cheek filler your masseter like with Botox like anything like if you feel that you have an insecurity or whatever fix it fix it and if you can't fix it do natural remedies to fix it or to make it look better or work out so you can feel more confident like that i feel like there are so many things that you can do to build your confidence aside from like appearance and stuff i think that just waking up really early it's gonna make you confident and getting a workout in and just eating healthier and like all the basic things like i feel like a broken record like saying things like that but i truly feel that those are the things that made me confident in the beginning and then little by little i started changing my appearance and i think having bigger eyes makes me more confident of course because i feel prettier and having straighter brows and working out it just makes me feel like so much better and i think that i did not feel confident when i was not doing these things i felt very ugly in my body i felt like i had to change and as far as personality goes i don't really care what people say i grew up in a household with my aunts and they were very mean to me when i was little but i think that that really helped me in the long run they were very opinionated they were very loud and i when I was little, I didn't really understand why, but then now that I grow up, it's like, I think it really helped me with my confidence and being able to speak up for myself because I didn't really do that when I was little. And I feel like now I'm just very open and honest and I like direct answers. I like direct questions. I don't like beating around the bush. I feel like that's something that a lot of people do. And for me that's just not something i'm interested in like i really like hearing answers straightforward even if they're gonna hurt my feelings like just get it over with to be honest it's not something that i just feel like anything that's a waste of your time is just not worth your time i think in a perfect world people wouldn't cry if you were like direct they wouldn't be upset if you were just really like like the same like just being straightforward and i feel like society has like sugarcoated so many things that people are so scared to like be direct and be honest and just say things for what 
they are and especially in dating i feel like people really feel the need to like beat around the bush and like like have this facade as like oh i want to be the person that like you want to be and like to the point where their personalities are different i just don't think that that's okay and i think that's more like detrimental as opposed to like a work environment because you're trying to find like your person for life you know and then they're like acting one way but then they're like another person and so it's obviously not the healthiest so i would say like try to talk to yourself in the mirror and i think youtube has really helped me with that as well talking to a camera and being able to say things that i felt like i could never say out loud even in my workspace i'm very for i'm very straightforward i know when i have to dial it back and be more feminine and be in tune with my feminine energy and that's just for another video but i think that in the bigger picture like being being confident and being able to speak your truth i think that really helps a lot i think just start with that i think my blush looks really spotty right now i'm gonna use this airbrush flawless powder are there any east coast vacation spots you like of course cape cod greenwich i wanted to stay there for a month actually last summer and or this past summer um but i just didn't get the chance to and i would want to bring luna so i had to figure out a way to like be able to take her with me for a month especially like being on the east coast i don't really want to be that long without her so yeah like probably just like there's also like a place near um the hamptons i think it's like an hour away from the hamptons it starts with like an n but it's also in new york which is like a vacation spot like in the summertime that i think is really nice what hair dye do you use i actually just dyed my hair like a medium brown and i used l'oreal's hair dye i think i want to start getting it like professionally hair dyed because i don't think that box dye is like ruining my hair per se because i think my hair is generally pretty healthy and i do like heatless curls i oil it pretty often i do a lot of like leave-in conditioners i use rosemary on it to help it grow and i think that just having a professional like dye my hair would just be a lot more beneficial like maybe twice a year so yeah i want to like look into that but i'm always very nervous of course like getting your hair dyed for the first time i think is like really scary especially if you go somewhere professional because you're so used to it being a certain way but then they're professional so like obviously they're trained to do this i'm using kosas on my brows kosas is so good i really like this brand i don't like the packaging i think it's like very juvenile with the colors but i like the product in it so i'm gonna go in with the bare minerals invisible glow and i'm just gonna blend everything together i'm gonna go into my crease someone said um how are you doing how's your health journey i literally just got back into my health journey so i'm kind of like anxious about it because i don't feel like I'm like at my best um i definitely like slacked off a bit so we're literally starting at square like day one i was gonna say square one <laughs> we're literally starting like off at day one again which is so annoying and my class pass membership renews like i think on the 20th yeah i mean i did use all my credits this month which is really good which goes to show that like i was working out because i didn't do like any services or anything i still feel like i could have worked a little bit harder because i don't feel like i did I'm using Carly's palette and I'm gonna go in with the highlighter shade. I just use like these two are my favorite. I need a more like dense brush I feel like because this one's kind of too fluffy. Then I'm gonna go into the inner corner. I'm gonna add some glitter to my eyes. Someone said are you still using dating apps? If so, how has your experience been? Well, I had like a like not a breakup i don't want to say because like we weren't even really dating like officially but um we were seeing each other for quite some time so like i feel like we're essentially like just dating right like dating is just dating so we were dating and something happened and then like he just he was like never text me again and i was like okay and then i still texted him afterwards but then he wasn't like messaging me back so then i got the ick because i never chased a guy before and i didn't want to start now so i was like <laughs> especially one that wasn't like that like wanted to go like 50 50 so i was just like oh, whatever like it's not worth it so then i started like going on dating apps and i did have a lot of suitors i mean i do but i think because i started school at the same time like that the um that we decided well that like he stopped messaging me back and stuff and like i started just doing my own thing and i was very happy aside from that like i think i was sad like maybe for a day or two like really really sad but then you just learn to like you wake up one day and you're just like okay i'm not sad anymore so that was that and then yeah like so i went on dating apps and um i do have suitors but i just feel like i'm so busy that i'm kind of like 
too scared to like set up dates because I um, have like so much schoolwork and like work that I have to get done and then I have to also fit my workouts somewhere in there that's why my workouts are more ideal to do in the morning doing heatless curls is like so dumb for me I would say dating apps are okay like for now like I think like just having to open up to people again and like not knowing which ones are gonna stay or which ones are gonna leave I think it makes it very difficult so I'm kind of just in this place where like I'm Dating apps aren't horrible. I think it's a great way to meet people that you normally wouldn't, especially because I don't go out to bars, I don't go out to drinks. I mainly just do dinner, sometimes by myself, and it's just like my thing, like I don't know. But I feel like I'm just like not really at a place where it's like a priority for me, I guess, at the moment. I think that there are some people that I've talked to in the past that like resurfaced and I feel like guys always come back, but they don't come back with like better terms or anything after like i kind of lay mine out so it makes it like pretty annoying so i think i'm more annoyed with dating than i am like enjoying it which i don't think is a good thing i pretty much use like products that i like featured in my sephora haul and i do really love them so let me know if you guys like it but yeah that's pretty much it i hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you guys have any other questions for me um just feel free to leave them down below because i would love to answer them for you I think I'm gonna tie my hair actually because I feel like having my hair this is not the business oh my god That's pretty much all that I have for today's video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel down below. I will also have Dossier's website linked down below so you guys can get a direct link to the perfumes that I love so, so much. Until next time, I will see you in my next video. Bye.